Pyrus is the brand new legendary commander coming to Rise of Kingdoms with the launch of the new Ancient Greece civilization. So today we're going to go over all of his skills and we're going to go over some of the best talent builds that you can be using with Pyrus in the open field. And finally, and finally, later in the video, we're going to go over some of the best commander pairings for Pyrus. But first, what's going on, guys? Cheers. First of all, I just have to say that the design of Pyrus as a commander looks really cool. I think that his design is perfect. He's not too over designed but he's got just enough bells and whistles and shine to him to really look like a badass warrior and that's what i want out of my greek commander so i think they nailed it i think they did a great job here with his design now before we get into his skill overview we have to go over how do you actually get pyrus i know a lot of you guys watching this might be brand new players who are playing for the new greek civilization and there's a couple of different ways that you can get your hands on pyrus uh if you start playing right at the launch of the greek civilization there's there's going to be a seven day event which will eventually get you some sculptures for him you need at least 10 sculptures of him to summon him and begin to start using him then he will eventually be added to the tavern in the gold chest rewards you'll be able to get either a full summon of him or you'll be able to get a couple of his sculptures not only that but if you come into the expedition you go into the metal store and he will occasionally appear down here as a legendary commander sculpture that's pretty rare so you probably won't see him too often there he's also going to eventually show up as a daily special offer commander so you'll be able to get sculptures of him every single day if you do actually go through and make this purchase and then eventually he will show up in an event called card king which is a way that you can spend your gems to get some number of his sculptures if you're lucky but mainly you're going to be getting him for free using your gold keys that you accumulate just by playing the game it's going to be relatively slow to get a lot of skill points on him so brace yourself for that but because you are going to get him for free I would recommend not using Using your legendary commander sculptures on him I think because he's coming in the gold keys he's going to be usable in kvk one and two and of course beyond that but that means that he is more so an early game commander and based on his skills I think he's really going to dominate in the early game I think he's going to be extremely powerful in kvk one and two but in the late game I don't know if he's necessarily going to be meta I kind of doubt it depending on what his relic looks like which at the time of recording this we don't know so I would say don't use your legendary commander sculptures on him unless you are a big spender a whale and you really want to perform well in the early kvks now with that being said let's first go over the skills just so we have an idea as to what pyrus is actually doing in the open world when you're fighting other players doing pvp and then later we'll go over talent builds and best pairings but as we're going over these skills it's important to remember the context of pyrus right he is a kvk1 commander so if we take a look at his active skill which is called achilles reborn it's got a rage requirement of a thousand and it says deals direct damage to a target troop with damage factor of 1400 and increases the normal attack damage of this commander's troop by 20 percent for three seconds so when you compare this to like a very late game meta commander like nevsky joan prime juga Liang, right like those commanders are definitely more powerful than this but if we compare this to other kvk1 commanders it's pretty on par right if we look at Cao Cao, he also has a 1400 damage factor with a, an attack reduction and a march speed reduction so not only single target damage but a little bit of bonus there as well here we see with martel he has a shield and a buff right so i think that pyrus's kit is very solid for a kvk1 commander and this active skill i think is going to be pretty good because of who you can synergize it with especially in the early game we're gonna go over that later but the second skill says infantry units led by this commander gain 10 percent increased health and 15 percent increased march speed while outside of alliance territory this commander's troop deals 20 percent more normal attack damage so here we see that's the second time already that we're seeing a bonus to normal attack damage the first time on the active skill the second time on his second skill and this to me is is really important right because this is where a lot of his damage is going to come from we already see in the early game with charles martel and with richard that a lot of the damage from these infantry commanders comes from normal attack damage anyway so i think the synergy there is really nice the normal attack damage in case you guys don't know are the white numbers that show up when you're fighting in the open field okay so that's really nice to just have 20 percent more damage for every single turn forever that's awesome the health bonus here is really nice infantry really love having a ton of health here in the game and the march speed is huge because infantry are the slowest units in the game and the fact that we're getting a really nice march speed buff i mean this march speed buff is better than some march speed buffs for commanders that come out in season of conquest if we look at like 
Tarek, for example. I mean, there's just, there's some infantry commanders that get 10% or it's conditional based on being outside territory or something like that. So this is really nice infantry march speed. And I'm really happy to see that. Now, if you're a new player, which I suspect you might be, if you're watching this, I recommend making sure this first skill has five skill points before you add an additional star to him or at the very least you use the skill lock function to ensure that additional skill points only get added to the primary skill okay the primary skill for any commander is typically the best and most important skill because it is the active skill it's the one that actually deals a large chunk of damage okay so make sure you max out the first skill first before you do anything else or at least use this skill lock feature so that way you can continue to star him up and get levels on him without having to worry about that next we can take a look at his third skill and it says infantry units led by this commander gain 20 percent increased attack while on the map and whenever their troop launches an attack it has a 10 percent chance to gain 500 shielding factor for three seconds and this has an eight second cooldown now based on the power of this skill i would recommend maxing the first skill then maxing the second skill and then unlocking the final two skills that is my recommendation for the priority of his skills so first it's one then it's two then i would say it's four and then probably three okay the reason for that is because yes the infantry attack and shield is decent here but it's a long cooldown for the shield okay uh and by just unlocking this you already get 10 percent infantry attack so you're getting half the value of this skill just by unlocking it and doing nothing else right half the attack half the shielding factor so i mean really like yes you want to max this max this eventually but it's not as important as his fourth skill which says this commander's troop takes 20 percent less skill damage and if it has a shield active their troop deals 10 percent more damage that's a really solid i mean all damage bonus is very important obviously this applies to the normal attack damage which is already buffed by pyrus and it applies to his 1400 skill damage it also applies to the other damage that you might be dealing with the other commander that pyrus is paired with right so that's huge but also the scaling on the skill damage reduction is insane we go from five to 20. uh skill damage is a large portion of the damage that you will be taking in the open field especially in the late game right so a lot of aoe skill damage pops off and taking 20 percent less of it at all times is huge you definitely want this at five before the second one okay finally his expertise says whenever this commander's troop is hit with a normal attack it has a 10 percent chance to reduce the attacking troops attack by 30 percent for three seconds so a really powerful attack reduction here it has a long second cooldown eight seconds so that is unfortunate but it's whenever you take the normal attack so it doesn't even have to necessarily be a target that you are hitting you could be running away from somebody and they're hitting you with normal attacks and you clap back with a solid debuff and now you're taking less damage for three seconds that's kind of nice okay next we're going to take a look at some talent builds for pyrus for this example i'm going to be showing you my charles martel because they have two of the three same trees uh pyrus actually has the versatility tree instead of garrison but the versatility tree is garbage so you're never going to put points in there anyway so it doesn't even matter we're really focusing on infantry and defense and martel has both of them so i'm going to share with you three different talent builds okay this is the first one that goes pretty deep into the defense tree this one gives you testudo formation which is only a one second buff but it's 15 percent all damage so that's okay and then medicinal supplies gives you some amount of healing which will give you some amount of sustain in the open field i'm stuck between this build and the next one that we're going to go over as to which one i think is better i think the next one we're going to go over is maybe slightly better and we'll get into that but burning blood here is going to give you a nice little rage engine as well as undying fury up here in the infantry tree you also deal bonus damage to cavalry which is nice there's going to be a lot of calves in the open field you also get a lot of extra health with strong of body and hold the line gives you a 10 percent chance to take 20 percent less damage for two seconds so this is kind of just a better version of testudo formation but it takes a lot more points now you'll notice that we came down here grabbed loose formation because you take less skill damage which is really nice we did not grab balance balance is a very tanky choice here it reduces the damage that you deal which honestly you kind of want all the damage that you can get with pyrus so he's not that tanky anyway and it really depends on who you pair him with so i guess that will determine whether or not this is worth it to you 
but I personally don't think that it's worth the four, four points to go over here to balance. And also you can see I skipped desperate elegy because this only applies when you're reduced to 30% of units remaining, which most of the time you should not be reduced that low. By the time you're at 30%, you should have went back and retreated to your city a long time ago. Typically below 50% is when you want to leave the battle. So definitely uh, don't get desperate elegy for open field fighting. It doesn't matter. Here you can see we also dropped one last point in fleet of foot and two points in march speed for infantry because this gets you better value than this and that is the first build the second build is all in on the infantry tree there's two reasons why i think i might like this build slightly more and that's because first of all elite soldiers gets you just a bunch more stats on top of the fact that you're also grabbing the health and defense over here on the offshoot points you also gain the snare of thorns here which has a 10 percent chance of slowing the target for two seconds which I think you know it's going to be hard for you to catch up to targets anyway um so you might not get as much value out of this as you think but it is really nice when it does pop and it makes a difference so i love that there's also not only all the march speed that we got here from before but also we finished off fleet of foot for a full six percent of march speed as well uh and in order to do that we traded off the medicinal supplies so you lose the very small healing factor and you also lose the one second of damage reduction from testudo formation you're gaining way more stats than you're losing here on these points and you are still keeping one of these march speed points which is actually pretty nice it's three percent and you're still keeping loose formation and all this stuff so i think this is probably my favorite build for a majority of instances uh and it's very easy right it's just max out the infantry tree and get like the first line of the uh of the defense tree now the last building i'm going to show you is exclusively for sunset canyon and lost canyon uh and you know you could if you never plan on using pyrus as a primary then you could build him like this if you want to throw him as a primary in canyon that way you don't have to rearrange the talents for other commanders that you actually fight with um this is my canyon build that i use on my martel this does grab desperate elegy and the reason for this is because you will be getting below 30 percent in canyon and that's going to give you a really nice rage engine 25 rage per second is great you're also as tanky as possible because being very tanky in canyon is very important so you go and grab balance and then here you can see we did have to sacrifice quite a bit here uh i did grab hold the line you see i grabbed the rage engine for undying fury and my last two points i could have put them in stronger body and that's going to give you a, a bonus to your health which is nice i decided to do iron spear because there are so many cavalry units in sunset canyon uh you are always going to see either in the early game minamoto Tsao Tsao, saladin or in the late game you're going to see nevsky joan zhang yu william they're all pretty much always present in sunset canyon so you will get value from this from sunset canyon uh and yeah i figured you know losing the health stinks but you're gonna get the uh the tankiness of this stuff over here and also healing is very good in sunset canyon so you definitely want medicinal supplies and you'll notice that we skip out on a lot of the tree here because like there's march speed here there's march speed here there's march speed here and there's slow down here none of that matters in sunset canyon right so really like this whole side of the tree is pointless anyway i just figured balance was more important than the health here i guess that's kind of the trade-off that we have but these are the three talent builds that i would recommend now let's go ahead and talk about some of the best commander pairings for pyrus in the game okay first we're going to talk about kvk1 commanders because i think that's where you're going to see pyrus be dominant for the most part and while we're on charles martel we might as well talk about charles martel okay the synergy here is insane you definitely want i think charles martel primary is going to perform better and the reason for that is because first of all there's the synergy with shields okay his active skill gives you a really nice shield and 30 percent bonus damage for four seconds okay and that does two things for pyrus that are huge first of all you gained a shield which means his fourth skill is going to give you 10 percent bonus damage for four seconds and remember martel already gives you 30 percent so now you are at 40 percent bonus damage with a shield on for four seconds that's really nice then because pyrus is the secondary commander he's going to pop off his 1400 damage factor while he has 40 percent bonus damage 
which is solid and then he's gonna get 20 percent more normal attack damage for three seconds so by the time this activates it'll probably overlap with the bonus damage for one or two turns so it won't be the full three seconds but it'll it'll overlap for a portion of it so you get a shield 40 percent bonus damage a nice skill shot and then it's gonna overlap with 20 percent bonus normal attack damage as well I think that is a really nice combination and Martell primary is almost certainly the way to go for that but beyond that Martell gives you March speed if he's expertise so that is unfortunate you have to get the expertise for that but he has mostly tanky stats now we see 10 percent of health on Pyrus but he also gives you 20 percent of attack so that is the one stat that we are missing on Charles Martel unless you come in here and take a look at his uh, relic which gives him 35 percent so again this is only for uh kvk you know season of conquest but in kvk one you won't have this when you get into season of conquest you will that's a ton more stats that you can throw on your Martel Pyrus combo if you're still using that combo in season of conquest otherwise if your Martel isn't expertise which in kvk1 he isn't going to be unless you're a well uh this is some art speed here on pyrus that will really help out your Martel a ton and again most of the damage from this combo will probably come from normal attacks and just the fact that you're going to have a lot more normal attack damage for your Martel with pyrus is going to be really nice a lot of players use Martel and richard together in kvk1 because it's extremely tanky and it's really hard for players to take down in kvk1 because a lot of players especially free to play are using epic matters which are very underwhelming so they're just not able to put out enough damage to really take that down i think Martel pyrus is going to be almost as tanky but way more punchy when it comes to damage and i think this is really going to be the way to go for open field fighting in that uh kbk also you're giving Martel 20 percent less skill damage taken here which is really nice uh and a little bit of a debuff on the expertise again you probably won't have the expertise in kvk1 but if you're a whale this is the way to go now i just mentioned him but we can talk about richard okay because there's a good chance in kvk1 that if you're a low to mid spender uh, and you were spinning Richard's wheel and you got him to let's say five one 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 or five five one one uh there's a good chance that your Richard could be a in a better position than your Martel if you didn't get a lot of Martel from gold keys right kvk1 comes around pretty quick uh so you may be inclined to use Richard instead of Martel with a Pyrus and uh I think that's a totally fine thing that you could do now you don't have the same synergy as you do with the shielding and the bonus damage from uh from Martel Richard is more of a tanky version of Martel right uh because instead of shielding he's healing which is similar uh it's not quite the same but he does have a really strong debuff here five troops in a fan-shaped area uh reduces their damage that they're dealing by 30 percent for two seconds and a march speed reduction which is a nice little snare there okay uh so this is going to keep your pyrus alive for longer and on the second skill here you also have further tankiness right damage taken reduction by 15 percent and a bonus to counterattack damage which is nice right this is something i didn't mention on uh charles martel but it's worth noting now that the fourth skill 30 percent counterattack damage and remember we're already getting upwards of 40 percent bonus normal attack damage in some circumstances with pyrus right 20 on the active skill 20 on the second skill if you're outside of territory and so the fact that you're going to get normal attack bonus and counterattack damage bonus is huge Richard here has less counterattack damage uh but more tankiness in general here we see 30 percent of stats a little bit of attack a little bit of defense and then Pyrus will give you 20 percent attack 10 percent health so the health that Richard doesn't have he can get from Pyrus and here we don't really care about this too much but bonus healing and less damage taken so in general I would say Martel is a better pair for Pyrus but you could do Richard if you want a more tanky option now we can also talk about Ethelfled but really you're not going to have her in a great position for kvk1 you may consider doing this for kvk2 and that would be Pyrus primary Ethelfled secondary with a full infantry build what this is going to do is just add some AoE to Pyrus's kits and a really strong debuff you also take 20 percent less counterattack damage and you have a 10 percent chance to slow down targets you also gain 20 percent increased damage to enemy troops when they're affected by slowdown and that's on the expertise which you're not going to have the expertise by the time kvk1 comes around i don't think uh so again this might be more of a kvk2 option but if you are a free-to-play player or a low spender or a new player and you don't really have that many legendaries and you want to get your ethel fled on the field you could probably slap her behind pyrus and he's a little bit tanky he deals some nice signal target damage so i think that's a decent uh route you could go you also could go the same thing mehmed secondary 
to your pyrus and again this comes down to how lucky you are with the gold keys how many skill points you have here on your mamed so you may only consider this in kvk2 and beyond but the med has a really nice five target aoe it's a small cone so it's not as powerful uh, or easy to hit multiple targets as other aoe's but it is nice he does give you 20 percent attack with the 20 percent attack on pyrus and he also has health which is great this is a 20 percent bonus to skill damage which is going to help pyrus's active skill as well which is nice and you're going to bring a ton of troops to the battlefield so i think mehmed is a very vanilla aoe skill damage commander you could kind of slap him behind anybody and if you slap him behind your um pyrus then you know it's kind of a lot of players like to hide their mehmed by some behind somebody um just as a vanilla damage dealer uh if you ever had the inclination of hiding him behind a martel you could do that but then the bonus to skill damage is kind of wasted because martel doesn't do skill damage so pyrus is kind of like the best middle ground there uh and i think you know this is kind of the only early game pairing for infantry where you could consider using the med as a secondary right and really have like full synergy there um so i think that's great and it's a little bit tanky for your med as well so i think that this is a really nice pairing but probably difficult to use in kvk1 if you aren't a whale because you probably won't have that many skills on your med unless you got really lucky okay moving on to kvk2 alexander is a pretty obvious slam dunk here and i think this is probably one of my favorite pairings right up there with martel because we have the same synergy with the shielding okay the same synergy four seconds same 1200 shielding factor and if he's expertise it means three nearby enemy units will take 30 percent increased damage for four seconds which means that you're going to hit them if alex is primary which you could make the argument that he should be if you want to deal more damage or you could make the argument that pyro should be primary for the defense tree uh which will be a little bit more tanky it'll be up to you to decide which you prefer but if you do alex primary then essentially you will have the enemy taking 30 percent increased damage when that skill shot does go off for pyrus and maybe one or two turns of the bonus normal attack damage as well which is really nice he also has a single target damage skill shot here which reduces the enemy targets uh healing by 30 percent so that's good uh this is a slightly higher damage factor than we see on pyrus so you know uh, two of them both dealing single target decent damage in kvk2 is cool and then we have a ton of march speed and attack here which we also have attack and march speed on pyrus so great synergy there this is going to be a pretty fast infantry march one of the things that i love about the alex martel combination in the early game is how fast they are if you can expertise martel but most players can't and so they lose out on that but now pyrus has almost as much march speed as an expertise martel and you don't have to expertise him which is like that's a blessing so now you have a really fast for early game a really fast uh infantry march that you could use that is packing 50 percent attack 10 percent health on pyrus and then when the shield is up you will have 30 percent increased defense and remember this is with any shield and remember pyrus also has a shield uh on his third skill here so whenever this pops you're actually going to get 30 percent defense instead of uh the attack which is really nice so those random shield procs are just going to make your alexander a little bit more tanky and honestly they need it because this is the only way for them to get defense on this build so that is uh unfortunate but this is again a really nice combination for kvk2 this is going to be great no uh no pun intended alexander okay that's the only kvk2 commander we're going to talk about let's move on to kvk3 season of conquest and beyond we first have to talk about cpo this is probably the best pairing for pyrus strictly because cpo is just so good okay you've heard this a million times on the channel cpo would be the primary here uh and what i think would is is pretty cool to consider is that if you're lucky with your pyrus you can get him to 5511 by the time you get to kvk3 and beyond which is going to be tricky you will have to grind a ton to do that and get a little bit lucky okay but if you can do that then you already have a really nice pairing for your cpo when you enter season of conquest or kvk3 and not to mention pyrus will probably have a relic by the time that you get there which is just going to give probably more stats to your pyrus now the synergy here is insane okay three target massive nuke aoe and also a 30 percent health reduction for three seconds which means that your pyrus is going to hit that target uh with his 1400 damage factor while they have 30 percent less health which means they're going to take even more damage so that is 
excellent we love to see the synergy there which is great and then beyond that we see a synergy with march speed okay uh he already has 40 percent attack so getting 20 percent more is nuts we also see 20 percent health here that's going to be bumped up to 30 with pyrus we have bonus uh damage here and we have a shield that you can get when you take skill damage now you also will see um on pyrus he takes 20 percent less skill damage which is very very good for uh cpo he already is reducing it uh half the time but now he's just taking even less so both commanders have a chance to gain a shield which is really good and anytime that that happens you're going to be getting 10 percent more damage right so whether you gain the shield from pyrus or the shield from uh cpo you're getting 10 percent more damage and uh getting more damage on cpo is disgusting it's nasty bro he really pops off i think cpo is the slam dunk best pairing for you if you want to use your pyrus into kvk3 and season of conquest and beyond however you could consider a guan yu pairing uh guan yu obviously has to be primary this pairing is a little bit more squishy than anything else we've kind of talked about except for maybe the Vamed and ethel flood pairings uh the guan yu has massive aoe and a nice silence that is what guan is known for and the bonus damage on his fourth skill is insane now besides that where is the synergy well first of all they're gonna stack a ton of infantry attack and they both have march speed the expertise on guan yu which most people don't have but if you do have him anytime he gains a shield he has a 15 percent increased skill damage so here we see you know another commander that gives you shields if this overlaps with guan yu skill shot it could be pretty nice but the odds of that are pretty low so is this the best pairing in the video definitely not uh is it something you could try certainly i don't see why not it's you know there's a little bit of synergy there so if you're feeling desperate and you really want to bring your guan yu back on the battlefield you don't know who to pair him with then perhaps you could give pyrus a try all right guys that was a really long video i did not expect it to be that long but hopefully you found it useful and if you did drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below your thoughts on pyrus are you excited for him how do you think his design came out do you think that he's going to be really good in the early game do you think that his relic is going to keep him good in the late game when we find out what that might be i think he could possibly pop off in season of conquest as well if his relic is good enough consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kingdoms video and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch and we'll talk to you guys again soon peace